such is the fate of those that turn from the light. Death! And what will you cry as you tear into the traitor's heart? Death! 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 You who art vengeance incarnate. You who art the first and last bastion of hope for mankind. You sons of Gilliman! Go forth in the name of the Emperor! And lay waste to those who would defy his righteous word! For the Emperor! Hello everyone, my name is the Undying J, and we're going to be talking about Space Marine 2, mainly on the topic of a chaplain class. Though, I will warn now that this is more of theory crafting than anything else, as we are, as far as I'm aware of, we have not heard anything on a chaplain class yet. That being said, though, I am going to speculate a lot of things, using mainly lore in other games. So, I hope you all enjoy. Chaplains are warrior priests that minister to their spiritual and psychological well-being of their fellow battle brothers, instilling in them the values and beliefs of the chapter and promote the veneration, or even rare cases, the actual worship of the Emperor. Now, since we're also talking about Space Marine 2, there is a chance that a chaplain class could be also called a Judicar, which is basically a chaplain in training. Uh, these people are important as I was planning to use some of their class features and other equipment as part of this video. Alright, now let's get down to the nitty gritty of it. The chaplain's role in the team will be focusing on support, while also leaning more on the melee aspects of the game, giving various buffs and debuffs throughout the game. Now, I will say this as the, I think the chaplain will have three potential abilities, maybe even something different if y'all have any ideas on what that class ability will be, please put it in the comments. But my first potential class ability would actually be the Tempo Mortis. Now the Tempo Mortis is a war gear that's shaped like an hourglass that manipulates time. Now I must say, I must admit, that this might be a, lo a little hard to put in the game, maybe not, I'm not sure, as I'm not too sure about the game's limitations at all, but I did think about this after watch, uh, playing the campaign's final mission with uh, the sorcerer using the time manipulation. Now I believe this would be a very useful ability as you'll be able to slow down the hordes of the enemies coming after you or even slowing down their projectiles letting your allies dodge them and this could also synergize well with uh, the melee mechanics that I mentioned earlier that allows you to apply buffs and debuffs respectfully. Now, I can see people saying this is probably would be a little overpowered, and honestly, I probably would agree, but I think it's just a fun idea. Now, if y'all wish to talk about it in the comments, uh, more about it, I'm fully okay with that, and honestly, I would love the discussion. Now, let's start talking about the second ability. Second ability, y'all might already know, is Righteous Fury. Yes, the same ability Tychus uses during the campaign. Uh, this, I honestly think it wouldn't be a bad idea to use in operations. And, honestly, it ain't too overpowered in my opinion, though that is my opinion. Uh, I can actually see this ability being very thematic for the ch chaplain, as, well, <laughs> they're basically the Righteous Fury sort. And, I could also see the uh, perks and other things added to the game where that you can even share the Righteous Fury with your teammates. Though probably at like a reduced uh, effectiveness. Now though that's just what I think and there's probably a lot of other choices and probably some changes they could do probably to this ability to make it work more for operations or even possibly PvP. Now let's start talking about the third potential ability that Chaplain could have, and we're not going to stop talking about the campaign either, as the third potential ability is Battle Cry. Yes, the ability used by Gadriel. And would also be thematic for the Chaplain, as the Chaplain has had a shell-like ability before. 
In Dawn of War 1, the Chaplain had Demoralizing Shout, which caused a debuff to all nearby enemies. Wouldn't be surprised if the game creators applied this kind of same deal within the perk system in operations, like adding a Demoralizing Shout as a perk to use that or transforms the battle cry in some way. All right, since now we all talked about the potential class abilities that the chaplain could have while in game, let's now talk about the weapons. Now, first off, I will mention, I do not think the chaplain will get any primary weapons, or at least that's my thought, as most of the time we see a chaplain with a melee weapon and a pistol. Now, I do not think this will undermine the chaplain too much, as honestly, I think a lot of the perks or a abilities could help out the chaplain, even if he doesn't have a primary weapon. Now, I will mention the secondary weapons. Now, I do think he would at least get the heavy bolt pistol and a plasma pistol. Any other secondary weapons? Well, that's debatable. Also, possible chance that new secondary weapons would come out like the hand flamer and the grav pistol and now let's talk about probably my favorites here the melee weapon i have two potential weapons actually probably not even potential if we're talking about actual chaplain but there is a weapon i do want to mention first before the other one and that is the executioner's relic blade now, the Executioner's Relic Blade will most likely be a massive blade that probably swings around the same or slightly higher speed than the Thunder Hammer. But, I honestly wanted to mention that I think it could potentially have a unique effect compared to the other weapons. In the tabletop, the Relic Blade had a unique effect called Silent Fury, which every time they kill the character model, it will make the character stronger. Which... I think can also be implemented into Space Marine 2, which may or may not have a similar effect to the Islander from Team Fortress 2. It could be implemented that the Relic Executioner Blade could go around and kill certain high-ranking enemies and get stronger over time throughout the match. This weapon, I can imagine, would be favorable to certain chaplains who probably favor more of solo power over supporting the team. Now, let's talk about the Croceus Arcanum, a staff or mace in the hands of a chaplain. This weapon will mainly probably, will most likely be a supportive type melee weapon. As I mentioned earlier in early the video, that chaplain will use certain melee mechanisms like perfect parry and gun strikes to either buff or debuff. Now, now but not least, Let's start talking about perks. Now, I won't get into all of that, as I feel like that would be a whole different thing. As, honestly, having 25 different perks sounds probably too much work. So, I'll keep it short and say a few ideas of possible perks that the chaplains could have. Now, the first potential perk will be their war gear, the Rosarius. Now, its effect will most likely be some form of survivability, like either the chaplain has hit a certain HP threshold, and then it will activate, stunning all nearby enemies and a flashing light. Now we'll talk about a potential team perk. This will be called Healing Aura, and yes, I know this could actually be more of a team perk that mainly goes probably to Apothecary if that class ever came out. But, I mainly wanted to say this as to make reference to Dawn of War 1, as the chaplain in that game also had a healing aura. Last but not least, let's go with a classic. In the Warhammer tabletop, the chaplain had a ability called Litany of Hate. And let's make a reference to that by making it a team perk and have it allowed to increase both movement speed and attack speed of all members. Alright everyone, this is getting close to the end of the, end of the video, and I just want to say thank you all for listening, and 
If y'all have something to say, please put it in the comments and we could discuss as I would love to hear y'all's ideas on what a possible chaplain class would look like in Space Marine 2. I've been really enjoying this game and I'm really sad that they don't have a chaplain class. That being said, I hope all of you have a good day and please like, comment, and subscribe.